Welcome to the virtual tour of Scalena. When we come to school, the main aim is to stay safe and stay healthy. When we get to school, we would sanitize our hands and wash our hands regularly all day long and make sure we are kind to everyone we meet. Let's stay safe, everyone. Welcome to Scalena. As we come through our front door, we look at Caroline's office and then we look, turn to the right and that's our library and resource room. And if we turn to the left, we go down to all of our classrooms. Let's see which room we'll look at next. Our library is a great place to play on the iPads and to find lots of information in books and hear fantastic stories. We love our library, we do fantastic cahoots on our iPads, we research information. This is the library. Let's take a look inside Nicola's class. We cannot wait to see eager faces in here ready to work and looking forward to the days ahead. We can't wait. So much work is being done in the school already. We've had a deep clean in all of our classrooms. There's still a lot of work to be done and in Kylie's class we are putting in two new toilets into their annex. Still lots to do but we know we will get it all finished by 31st of August. This is Alex's classroom. The furniture has all been moved so that we can strip the floor and get it all beautiful for when everybody comes back. It's going to be amazing. We cannot wait to see you all. There is still some work to be done in Sharon's class. We need to move all the furniture and we need to get the floors ready and we need to finish off our deep clean in this room. But it will be ready for all our new children who will be coming and starting school here in September. Our sensory garden is a beautiful place. There is lots of colours and sights and sounds and textures to explore. Created by our sixth class a few years ago, we love this special space. We move in to Louise's class. From this classroom, our pupils will enter and exit by the fire exit. They will go to the library and to the playground from that fire exit. This is, means that they will stay safe and not meet other bubbles along the way. Now we're going to take a look into Sue and Sam's class. The pupils in this class will also use their fire exit to enter and exit and access other areas in the school to keep them safe. Let's try to remember now all the other things we need to do. We need to sanitize our hands, wash our hands, sneeze and cough into our elbow and to be kind to everyone. I know that everybody will be looking forward to getting back into our soft playroom. You will have the opportunity to play in here for one day of the week. Mary's class is the next classroom on the top corridor. The children on the top corridor will be able to access the rest of the school by the front stairs.
Valerie's class is the last classroom in our virtual tour. We are going to use a one-way system around the school building. To get to the playground, the children will go down the front stairs, down into the pee hall, and then back up through the outside of the school to get back into their classrooms. This is one of my favourite rooms in the school, the relaxation room. And again, the children will have one day to use the relaxation room in each of the class bubbles. Take time to have a quick look around and remember the rules we have in place. Wash your hands, cough and sneeze into your elbows and be kind. time to walk through the school to get to our playground. All children will use the PE hall one day a week for PE lessons in their bubbles. As we walk into the playground, we'll tell you that the children will be going out into the playground twice a day for 20 minutes in their class bubbles for break times. We're now at the end of our virtual tour. We cannot wait to see you. Stay safe, everyone. Remember, wash your hands. <laughs>